come here with, can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is King Hyena, and I'm one of the Rope to Rope Entertainment wrestlers. Awesome, man. Uh, how long have you been uh, wrestling for? Uh, on and off for three years to four years now. Do you have any inspirations that made you want to become a pro wrestler? Uh, yeah, one of my inspirations was, even though I'm a male, she's a female, uh, Lita, because she was, despite being how small she was on uh, TV, she definitely had a uh, impact on not my style personally, but how I kind of would like to move forward and wrestle like later on, you know. Okay. Now, uh, where'd you uh, train at to be a wrestler? Uh, it actually, <laughs> well, it's definitely a uh, story and a half to say the least. Started out at uh, Chikara, then I went to uh, was off that for a good while. And then I went to BWF, trained with uh, El Gato Sombrio, one of my best friends in the business. Then I went to uh, DJ Hyde School out in New Jersey there over in uh, CZW, and then I went to ECBW for a while, starting to go back again, actually, and then went to uh, what was formerly known as WSW, now okay. SPW. All right. Now, do you, do you have any highlights of your career so far? Uh, one of my best highlights so far would have to be wrestling with one of my trainers, T. Gray Vulcan. Okay. What was that? Well, like? Who you actually, uh, what, did an interview with just recently, right? Yeah. Uh, it was definitely something great to be sharing the ring with him during the match and even post-match. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was definitely great, and I would like to work with him again. Okay. Now, um, what were some of your favorite wrestlers growing up? I know you said Lita before. But yeah. Any, do you have anybody else that, uh, that you modeled your style off of? Uh, just recently, uh, actually, because I took a break from watching wrestling because Attitude Era. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't watch certain things because of the stuff that they were doing back then. But uh, getting back into it, I would say the era of Cena. Uh, I have to say one of the wrestlers I've been watching just recently on AEW is uh, Luchasaurus because he's tall like I am, but okay. has me by a couple of inches. Uh, watched Lucha Underground while, when I was on Netflix. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers from that was Phoenix, now Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr., okay. a.k.a. El Penta Zero Medo on uh, AEW, Kalisto on uh, WWE, what's his name, what's his name, uh, Gran Matatalik, also in WWE, formerly uh, El Gran Dorado, or whatever his name was in uh, CMLL. And some of the female guys, like Mystico, Caristico, Dragon Lee, uh, Gran El... Uh, his name is escaping me right now, but I'm pretty sure I remember his name later on. Uh, Puma, and Tiger. Tiger okay. Casas from uh, CML as well. Okay. Now, how did uh, the COVID-19 pandemic affect uh, wrestling for you? Uh, it kind of affected wrestling for me a little bit because don't get me wrong I love the ring I miss being around people but in the times that we're in right now definitely kind of calls for certain protocols to be met and say the least I don't mind the protocols being followed because that's what has to be done anyway you know mm -hmm. yep. but I definitely miss the ring to say the least what was like your first match back after uh, being being shut down from uh, COVID for all the, for the, all that time? My first match back would have to be the match of me Tigre versus Dyson Bennett and uh, Luca Mancini, okay. which I know me and him still probably have some business to take care of. Um, now, what kind of stuff do you do to train to stay in shape for the ring? Uh, the things I do, I practice kickboxing, which I'll be going and doing tomorrow. Okay. The gym, of course, mm -hmm. because everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. Some like cardio here and there, and then various other martial arts too. 
throw into my style and mix it up. Okay. All right. Now, um, do you have any shows coming up at all that you want to talk about? Uh, I don't have any shows to say at least yet, but I'm going to be at the show on December 5th. Okay. So I'm focused on training and keeping myself ready for that. Okay. Now, who's your favorite opponent that you've wrestled? If if Battle Royal counts, I would have to say my favorite opponent would have to be Jason. Because that guy, whew, man, he is tall. Not only is he tall, man, he, throw, he can choke slam you like, Almost like he was dropping any other victim from any height, you know. Okay. Now I know, like you, have, you have, with your luchador style and all, like you probably have to have, uh, have heard of the great Rey Mysterio. Now. Of course. Like, yeah. Now, what do you think about like the whole thing with uh, Rey Mysterio and uh, Dominic, uh, in the feud with Seth Rollins and um, Buddy Murphy? I definitely think that could have gone a little bit differently and a little bit better, in my opinion, but. This is what it is, but I definitely think that Dominic has a good future in the WWE, to say the least. Okay. I would love to see him go underneath his father's mask or carry it on as tradition in uh, Mexico. Okay. Now, um, what about the uh, Mexican uh, culture and the luchador style attracts you to it? Uh, the thing that attracts me the most to it is that not only just high flying, it's also depending on who, you know, is in the ring, they're either high flying, they mix it up with grappling or ground, you know, ground pound. Like the Lucha style isn't just high flying like everyone thinks. Depending on who's underneath the max, they do any sort of, sort of array of, you know, styles. Okay. Like for example, Luchasaurus. He's big. Like he's big. Does he take to the sky often? Yeah. yeah. Only when, you know, warrants it. Well, I like to take to this guy. Yeah. Okay. I definitely have a few tricks up my sleeve. Now, what do you think of the uh, the match with uh, Rey Mysterio and uh, Brock Lesnar? Oh, man. That has... That's definitely... Uh, the street fight was definitely great. And I liked how uh, they incorporate Dominic in on the uh, double 619 and the double frog splash. That was very well done. But I think the finish could have been done differently. Mm -hmm. That's just me, though. Yeah. But now, like, you you watched wrestling growing up and all. Yeah. What's your favorite era or time period in pro wrestling? Uh, Attitude Era. But also, before that, over in Japan was uh, when Hayabusa was big. Before, like, pre-Hayabusa, before he uh, did the self... What is it? Self, uh, pal driver that ended his career. Okay. Before that, that like he was amazing in the ring. I love, like I love his style. Okay. All right. Now, uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add to say or add or anything to, to get off your chest? I'm pretty sure you see almost all the banter that me and Luca and El Rey have back and forth on online. Okay. Yeah. Me and them, I know we have unfinished business, you two and I. But trust me, it, when it comes down to it, fellas, it ain't personal. It's just business. And I guarantee you, your little business is going to be put out of business. Awesome, man. Thanks for doing this interview.